TNTM The Show presents Cowabunga Cast with your host, Slay J. The Ambassador. And Pablo Gunner. Today we're going to be discussing the game that we all bought, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Cowabunga Collection. So that's a little, let's just start off by talking about this game. This was like a big old hit of nostalgia for me. It felt like I was back in the arcades playing this, wasting all my cores trying to get on the list of being whoever beat this game but it's hard it's very hard i, I forget yeah. how, how much games were hard back then the one thing i noticed right away was i always played more of the console games so i played the nes version of, of the arcade one but then you put the arcade one on and like wow no wonder why people wanted more arcade games because like the difference in like graphics quality was like a steep decline on the NES compared to the uh, cabinet version. Like, the graphics were really, really good for its time. Oh yeah, the gameplay was top-notch too. Yeah. Like, that was the thing that I've noticed is you have the characters and they're doing like back kicks and you can attack front and back, like both sides of you. And I was like, that's like some next level stuff. Like, that's some Batman Arkham Asylum level fighting right there. So that was so cool, but like you said, Really, it comes down to, like, how many coins do you have? In this, you can cheat, and you just press, like, the start button, and it gives you unlimited coins, essentially, if you just have for every time. So you can do it and be like, how many coins can I get away with not doing it, or however many you want. That was really cool. Unfortunately, you can't do that with all the games. It's just the arcade ones. So the other ones, I just rage quit. Oh, totally. But they yeah. all have their own charm. Like, there's one where you're Michelangelo. He's the only one that's not captured because he went to go get pizza. <laughs> and <laughs> so you can use his nunchucks to glide around. And, like, like I said, they all are pretty much the same game, really, when you think about it, the way they fight. Donatello always has the range. Uh, Leo's the the mid, the mid of everything. Yeah, Raph is is the brute. Like he's short range, but like he's the the strongest. I always feel like he should be able to take the most too. Like he's the tank. I get bugged when he's like this guy should take more damage than everybody else. Michelangelo, he's just. It's funny because which one is it where? I, I want to say it's Turtles in Time, and it looks like he's like whipping. Like it looks like yeah. a chain he's yeah. whipping. Yeah, it is Turtles in Time. <laughs> <laughs> and and it's so funny because like their runs and walks are like it's so funny because they're so gay like all of them like <laughs> the way that the way they like run walk like it's so funny i love it so much oh it's so great but well, those games are such a blast that's things like it's so fun disconnected from my classic gamer brain so they were so hard but i don't oh know about gosh. you guys but i really wanted to have four other or three other people with yes. me so I could have the whole turtle team because it's like this game is freaking hard it, right. it's it's hard right and that was yeah. part of it is that you did it in because you had to really you're like you could all have the same game like that your friend you and your friends but unless you played on one on the same thing you really didn't have a chance of beating the game you really didn't know how far you could get unless you did it as a team and same thing, yeah, when I was playing it, I was like, man, I really wish I was playing this with people because yeah. I feel like it would be doable. I could get a lot farther in these games. Oh, it would be you more def fun. You definitely need a Leo. You definitely need a Mikey. You know, you got Raph you right got, here. Yeah. And then, you know, you need Donatello for the smarts. So it, it's, it just, this this game makes you want to play it with others. So if this this is what you're looking for, what, 30 bucks on Amazon, guys? Yeah, I mean, yeah. you get so yeah. many, there's so many games on there. I feel like it is a steal because of that. And and we pay for this of our own money. Like, no one's promoting us. We're not getting anything from this at all whatsoever. This is all us. It looks great on every console. Because I have the old Xbox. You guys have the newer ones. Yeah. And it plays so good. Like, all of these, they just play so smooth, and they look so good. They do. Oh, so I, I had a blast playing it. Yeah, one thing that I always forget is when you played, like, the original arcade game and the Nintendo Turtles 2 one, the range isn't there for mm -hmm. all the weapons. So, if you didn't think of range-wise, you have to play as Raph. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. Raph is, like, a complete tank in that game. And the most powerful character. And it's cool because then you can kind of like almost button smash where you're kind of like jumping around like in Halo. You know, you're not teabagging anybody, but you're, you're still jumping around. And 
it, it it's fun. It's fun. And then you have like these little mini boss battles at the end of the at the end of the whatever the episode or whatever oh, yeah. they call it. The level. Uh, the level. And you know, it's like different people. There was Bebop, Rocksteady. There was Bebop some, and Rocksteady together. Yeah, some like uh, robot dude that was throwing down other robots to attack yeah. you, <laughs> that were like stinging you. And it's like you have like thirty people attacking one turtle, and it's like, <laughs> what the heck's going on? And then I'm surviving, and then I'm then I'm dying, and then I'm like I'm hitting that start button to get me more lives because <laughs> it's, I, it's like getting crazy. And don't forget, like. This was also a time when they literally had a slightly different version of the same game for every single thing that it came out for. And so that and it's it's really cool to to get that like even in Tournament Fighters which is essentially just a rip off of Street Fighter. I love like the posing like they're the way oh, yeah, they move yeah. and stuff but <laughs> oh my god, I suck at fighting games. I hate them so much. This definitely did give me some rage quit oh. vibes where I just threw my Xbox controller across the room. Because <laughs> uh, I was like, there's no way that I can beat this. There's just no way. <laughs> uh, some of them, you can learn their tricks, though. That's Some of them, I was like, oh, I think if I do it like this, like I wait and you learn their pattern. There's certain games where you can learn their pattern. Yeah, what drove me crazy with Turtles in Time is the harder one is the Super Nintendo one. Because, you know, because the uh, arcade one, you can keep doing like uh, infinity credits but graphically the super nintendo one actually looked better yeah yeah it did they do look so good i go like man i miss mm -hmm. these 2d side scrollers i actually like the ones where it was just a legitimately like it was 1d side scrolling because then you didn't have to deal with the different levels you know so that that was kind of cool i think that was the game boy one um, yeah. And it's crazy they have Game Boy games on here. Like I said, the Sega any, ones, any Turtles Nintendo. games you can think of is on here. What was your guys' favorite game on 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 this? I mean, it had to be the the arcade ones, just because I was like, it made it so much easier, oh, yeah. you know, because it was the only one I finished or <laughs> got move, past yeah. the first you level or whatever. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I wish the achievements were better on this. But it was definitely Turtles in Time, dude. Like when, when or uh, right there's an arcade version of, yeah. of the Turtles in Time. Yeah, that one's probably my favorite, especially because like the visuals are so great. And like I said, the way that they move and everything like that was improved from the first one. Just huge, like, and it flows so well. It plays so well. Like seeing, you know, playing as Leo or any of the characters, and they do that back kick to someone behind you, and I go like, oh my god, this is so great. And, and even like the cheesy little story and everything, like it just works. It's so great. I would trade off playing with the kiddo, and she wouldn't last long, but we had fun. And, she, and she's like, I like playing. That's, of course, she loves Donatello because that's her favorite color. Oh, purple. It is, is purple. Cool. Yeah, so she likes playing as Donatello. It's a blast. I love that there's these games that are out that I played as kids, and now they're being re-released. And now my kids can play them. We can play them together, together. and yeah, take turns cool. and stuff like that. Oh, you died. And and you know, we like all that. I, I, I saw you die. I saw you die. It's my turn. I'm like, oh gosh, okay, fine. And my wife chipping in too, like, I saw you die. It's Shelby's turn, you know? And I'm like, dang it. So, yeah, yeah. definitely. Definitely, Tits has always been my favorite. You know, Turtles in Time for everybody. Um, like you said, the, the graphics are great. Um, it's just, it's a fun experience. Even though you're dying constantly, constantly, it, it's, it's fun. What about you, Jeff? I'd be between either Turtles in Time Super Nintendo, just because the visuals were great, and then the unique fighting scenes that they added to the Super Nintendo port were pretty cool. Nice. Where they had like, uh, you're fighting Shredder, but it's from like Shredder's helmet view. Oh, and you're cool. having to like uh, throw the foot against the oh, screen yeah. to defeat him. Love yeah, that. That's right. <laughs> and then obviously one of the best turtle games ever made was Hyperstone Heist on the Genesis. It yeah. was cool to see that get some love. Totally, right? Yeah. Like it, it really did bring back my childhood. You know, even that's like 30 years ago to think about. And, and it's, it's crazy. It it's is. Crazy, man. It's nuts. Yeah, I think, I think Turtles in Time Super Nintendo. Definitely. I just love how each game has their its own charm, though. You know, and that's like, that's... Even though they kind of are essentially, you know, the same thing, kind of, they all have their own little charm. So the only great. thing that was disappointing was there, there's a scene where, like, uh, some signs fall down. I guess they didn't get the rights this time. But originally in, like, the 
original games, they were Pizza Hut signs. Oh, but now okay. they're just blank signs now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that was really cool, where you'd be playing, and then the f the foot ninjas would knock down signs and come, and I'd be like, that is cool. That's, like, too <laughs> cool that that would happen. I'd be like, that's legit, like, ninja-style stuff. That's that's awesome. And I, I miss that style, too, of just, like, how the enemies are different colors, and they do different things, you know? And I was like, man, that's I miss that. Like, we need more of that. You know, because I feel like that's, they've kind of taken that out of games and been like, oh, it's got to be super realistic. And it's like, yeah, but it's still video games, you know? Right. Like, yeah. we're still here to just have fun, you know? Escapism. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, it was a blast. So do us a favor, follow us on Facebook. It's at TNTM The Show. That's on, you know, Instagram or YouTube, even on Facebook, on any of our social medias, because we're on all of them, Tumblr, every little thing, boom, that's another...